Las Vegas has seen a surge in new construction projects in the recent years with high-rise condos, luxury homes, mixed-use developments popping up all over town. But the big question on everybody's mind is, can Las Vegas real estate market handle all this new construction? Let me break down the situation for you. On one hand, the demand for Las Vegas housing is undeniably high. We've seen a surge in population growth, attracting people from all over the country. This coupled with the city's vibrant tourism industry creates a need for more new homes as well as new apartments. Developers and builders are responding to this demand and building like crazy. Luxury high-rise condos like the Four Seasons residencies in McDonald Highlands are transforming the skyline, offering stunning strip views and upscale amenities. This project is adding 171 units, and as of last month, 46% of these units are sold. Track home builders such as D.R. Horton, Beezer, Woodside Homes, Taylor Morrison, Toll Brothers, and others are all building in communities like Inspirata, Cadence, Lake Las Vegas, Southwest, Summerlin West, Summerlin South, Kyle Canyon, Toulouse Springs, Aliante, and Centennial Hills. If I had to guess, there are hundreds and hundreds of homes currently being built. Luxury track home builders, such as Toll Brothers and Pulte Homes, are building and developing a new community called Ascension in South Summerland. It's quite popular with a very long wait list. They are adding 561 single-family homes, and they're gonna be ranging all in between two to four million dollars. Exclusive custom home communities, such as Ascaya, McDonald Highlands, Southern Highlands, Lake Las Vegas, Summerlin, In the Ridges, The Summit, and Amaya are all attracting uber high-end clients. If I had to give you an estimate, I would give you an estimate of approximately 100 custom home sites that are currently available for these buyers to build their dream home. And mixed-use developments such as the Urban Core in Summerlin West, the Brightline fast, high-speed train from LA, and also Hollywood 2.0 in Summerlin South are creating a lot of attention and attraction. These vibrant communities will offer shopping, dining, office, and even residence. With so many new projects underway, it's natural to wonder if the Las Vegas real estate market can handle this level of growth. Let's break it down by looking at a few key factors. Supply and demand, economic stability, and market trends. Supply and demand. First, let's understand the supply and demand of the current market conditions. Despite the increase in new construction, the demand for Las Vegas housing is very strong. The city's population is expected to continue to grow, and with that, we have a high need of housing. However, it's crucial that the supply doesn't outpace the demand too significantly in the event there'll be oversaturation in the market. Current data shows that the demand is still high, particularly in the luxury segment. As long as the economy remains stable and the influx of new residents continues, the market should be able to absorb the new inventory. The Las Vegas real estate market has experienced low inventory for the last several years, starting around 2017 and 2018. This trend intensified due to the demand of new residents, low mortgage payments, and a strong local economy. The pandemic in 2020 further reduced inventory as more people sought housing and took advantage of the low interest rates. Despite the ongoing new construction, the market has struggled to meet the high demand. As of today, we have 2.1 month worth of resale inventory. A healthy and balanced market is six months. So let me explain what this means. In the real estate market, 2.1 month means the amount of time it will take for all the current active listings to be sold if no new listings were to come into the marketplace. The month of inventory is a metric used to gauge the supply and demand of the market. A lower month of inventory, in this case 2.13 month, indicates a seller's market. In this scenario, there is a higher demand in homes and fewer homes available. This can lead to bidding wars, multiple offer situations, and rising home prices. Personally, I have multiple listings, and for all of my listings, we are in a multiple offer situation. 
This means that there are multiple buyers interested in offering to purchase this particular listing. When we have such low inventory in the resale space, a lot of my buyers cannot find what they're looking for. So in that case, they turn to new construction homes. There are so many pros in buying new. I share them all in my new construction playlist if you're interested in learning more and exploring more about new construction homes. By the way, if we haven't met yet, Konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your global real estate advisor helping you find your new home. Whether it's a resale home or a new home, anywhere in the world, I'll be more than happy to help you. Remember, I could connect you to any of my referral partners at Sotheby's around the globe. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you engage with me, and let's keep going. Economic stability. Economic stability is another crucial factor. Las Vegas has diversified its economy beyond tourism and gaming and has diversified into sectors such as technology, healthcare, and logistics. This diversification helps support a stable housing market. A wider range of job opportunities attracts new residents and sustains the housing demand. Economic indicators Economic indicators are positive with low unemployment rate and strong job growth. These factors contribute to a robust real estate market that can handle all the new construction projects. What do you guys think? Do you think Las Vegas can handle all the new construction? I'd love to hear from you, so comment below. Lastly, let's talk about the market trends. There's a growing interest in urban living where people are opting for high-rise condo as well as mixed-use developments where you can live, work, and play. This trend supports the development of new projects in city centers and surrounding areas. One good example is the Summerlin West Urban Core. With Urban Core being developed right off the west side of the Summerlin Parkway expansion, this is bringing a lot of mixed-use space, including shopping, dining, office, and living, and a walkable community with a lot of communities going vertical. I've seen so many three-story single-family homes as well as townhomes that are currently being developed in the Summerlin West community. Developers and builders are also focused on sustainable and innovative designs. These appeal to modern buyers that are looking for eco-friendly as well as smart homes. This shift towards the quality and the sustainability is a positive sign for the market's long-term viability. In conclusion, while the surge in new construction in Las Vegas is impressive, the market appears well-positioned to handle it. Strong demand, economic stability, and the evolving market trends all support this growth. If you're considering buying, selling, or investing in Las Vegas, now is an exciting time to explore these opportunities. Las Vegas and Henderson are booming with new construction projects. But did you know that this building spree won't last forever? In about 10 to 15 years, all the available land currently will be fully developed. After that, every home in Las Vegas and Henderson will be resale only. So, what does that mean for you? Right now, buying a new home means that you're getting a brand new, never lived in home with the latest technology, design, and efficiencies. Plus, new homes come with warranties that gives you a peace of mind. But the biggest advantage, you guys, is building equity. When you buy a new home today, you're investing in a property that will gain equity over time. As the supply of new homes diminishes, the demand for resale home will increase, driving up the prices. History shows that as an area reaches its development capacity, the home prices will continue to rise. In Las Vegas and Henderson, we're already seeing these trends. Buying a new home now means that you're positioning yourself for success by gaining all these equity. New construction will eventually, after the 10 to 15 years build time, become a rare commodity, driving the resale value of these homes up. This scarcity will drive demand, especially in highly desirable neighborhoods. So, what should you do? If you're considering buying a home, now is a great opportunity to purchase new construction homes. Not only will you enjoy the benefit of a brand new home, but you'll also be making a strategic investment for your future. For more videos about new construction homes, make sure you check out one of the videos surrounding me. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for finding me. It'll make me really happy if you could smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're made aware of my weekly content. I love hearing from you, so keep engaging, and I cannot wait to see you on the next one.